welcome back to Adult Show, and here it has been a very long, hot minute since we last seen each other, I think, like three weeks, maybe even on to four weeks, and yeah, just to have a little quick chat about that, I will be releasing a video about my sort of absent and sort of general where we're going with the channel and that, but basically, yeah, some time off, initially went away end of June to see a band live twice, Ramstein in Cardiff and Coventry. And then I initially took that time off just for myself and that, as we were struggling to get up this hill. Hopefully she have enough traction, but yeah, so, regardless of the hat... Wait a minute, let's see... If, there we go. But yeah, so, as I was saying, we took some time off, what I did, and yeah, then come back and yeah, just a lot of it was just either personal things going on at the moment in regards to moving in that and yeah, a couple of other bits helping that and had tonsillitis, I've had issues with my sort of own health with regards to my injuries from my bike accident where I got an infection in my leg now. As of recording this on Monday the 25th of July, I am, it is healing, it's getting better now, it's getting regular treatment, so on the mints now and that, and I'm hopefully trying to make as many days. I'm off work today and tomorrow, and then I'm back in throughout the rest of the week, and yeah, you know, it's real life working that, having, working for an employer who's not so nice, put it that way, but we're going to too much in depth for that. Some of you know what I do for a living, off pizza delivery on the motorcycle. Not your typical little skiers, put it that way. If you're part of Mississippi's Discord server, you may have seen a pic or two of my form of transport, but yeah, I'm going to be releasing the video on that. That should come out on the same day as this, tomorrow on Tuesday. Just to give it, explain everything, announce things that I have been going on with the channel. Things I was going to plan to announce include channel memberships and a few other bits. Obviously, at the moment, doesn't channel doesn't really warrant that. They, just with how active I've been or the lack of activity. But regardless, I'm um, hoping to get back into the strut of things. And uh, as I've been off for a while, I did have to go back. Oh, so many is quite loud. So I do apologise if that's comes through a bit loud. I will. Hopefully, manage to do audio just fine in the recording. Actually, I will check my sense here a sec, so I think it may be a bit loud. If we go down here to our settings, audio. Yeah, I think we'll, just, well, let's keep our mental volume on that. So I think I can just turn the entry volume up for when I do like. You know, like background work that I do like to hear of the engines, but of course, we're recording that. It's fine that balance, as always, between the obviously me commentating on what I'm doing and, you know, of actually doing stuff. But, anyways, so yeah, in the last episode, for those who haven't really caught up, um, you can stop there. Oh, yeah, we've got some harvesting to do as well. But, yeah, basically, we bought fields. 36 and 38, I think it was. If we go down here. Well, actually, ain't a set field number as per se. But yeah, we bought all the popular fields. And so far, we've got 200,000 euros of wood chips. That's what we're going to build in a moment, sec. Takes a bit of time there. So we've still got this little bit left to do. I think we'll get about another 150-ish thousand years from this. So that's why we'll tab over a note. So we do have some wood here. I think this was initially from this load, from some trees we cut down. Also we got the tree devourer. Also we've got the pipe because obviously there is a little handy thing with this mod out. We don't actually need the pipe to obviously get into the trail. Obviously it sort of breaks a whole realism aspect of the series so I will be putting the little spout on the thing on the back. Yes it's still technically not realistic but and if we go over here to a sawmill we've got some pellets already being produced. 
So we've got two pants there plus another two there. Get our pellets. And we've got a few thousand years of furniture. But regardless, we got 220,000 years old with chips. These were all from the. Uh, what was it? Poplar. So. We're just going to unload this into this monster sawmill. I can't remember who this was by. Oh, a bane contract. We could do that. You know what? Let's accept that contract. Why not? So if we go. How's our animals doing that chest? We've lost I've actually checked. All cows need TMR urgently. We'll get that done straight away. Oh yeah, go to your productions, that's what we're looking for. So yeah, our oil and flowers doing good at the moment. That's just, that's just chugging away at the back. Our silage is still doing good. So we've still got some grass to pick up, but as I said in last episode, we will be and then it grow once more, then we'll sort of do one big silage collection perhaps, but... Come on, there we go. What's catching? There we go. It's empty now. So yeah, that's empty in. And I'll see, we've got tons of wood chips going in. And also the wood chips is to make pellets. So for every four liters of wood chips, you will get seven liters of pellets, and that is done twelve thousand times a month. So that is forty-eight thousand liters of wood chips per month. So this will last us the pellets. We will go and sell them. If we look at the prices of everything. So furniture. So that's looking good, Nan Hendel, sell point. And for the pellets, I have added some mods, but which we'll get into down the road. But pellets, so uh, best place to sell them is at the sell everything container. Uh, at the moment, sort of troughing at the moment. Best time to sell is around February. So we're pretty much not at the bottom, but not that far off of it to be honest but yeah so still regardless of that so that is that so I'll get this on the road then I'll get a worker to send this back down to where we need it as it will take some time so we want you to go all the way back down here from from new on the roots, I know it's gonna get caught. Definitely at that part there of the bridge, as they always do. But yeah, so like all this here, we'll leave it for now. They grow again, cut it once more. But yeah, still plan of getting some animal pens in. By the moment, I think today in this episode, we'll just focus on wood chips, and then we'll focus next episode on the harvesting. She do still need to harvest because we've got a lot of equipment leased out. Oh yeah, so yeah, we got the rock. Oh yeah, I forgot about all this, like the popper headers and that. And all sorts, got the baiters as well. So, actually what fields do need harvesting? So we go to what needs ready to harvest? Actually, it's been a while since I've done a recording. So actually, um, so you've done all harvesting on that. Try to think. Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, we had our all these fields, didn't we? All these and grapes down here. So our grapes are down here. Where is our olive field? I swear we had some olives, didn't we? What was it down here? Bear with me a sec. Ah, right, so yep, gone back and watched that episode again, or last couple of episodes, and 
Yeah, of course, we had that issue, didn't we, with Field 13, where we planted the olive groves. We said we may have come back to that later on, but whether or not we actually come back to that, I don't know. Chances are we won't. Well, we may do. Well, yeah, I'm not, never saying never, as, as they say that, but. So, yeah, our grapes, that's going to be ready to harvest very soon, next couple of months, and that. And. Uh, yeah, if you think about getting field 19, convert this into more of a placement area. And that sort of goes with the mantra of what I've been thinking of. That whole aim of being self-sufficient. Because there are some nice mods that has come out since then. Obviously we had the diesel cell point, or diesel production chain. We got the corn dryer silo, so need propane gas and cords get whatever but also which one was it hopefully yeah that's it the F0 and diesel plant as part of the Midwest production so and feed pack by Yoss Modding not Yoss Modding I'm Schultz Modding <laughs> sorry sorry Schultz if you're watching this no mean to offend you there but yeah that's why I would like to get Obviously, you need corn and soybeans. Yeah, and only 80 grand as well. And we could, yeah, realistically, we could place it. Wait a minute, what's happened here? Obviously, I know recently the map did get an update, and yeah, like some of these trees were chopped down. But yeah, I know this one we didn't cut down. But yeah, I swear, yeah, there was a few things we did cut down because we said we was going to create a pathway and all that down here. Hopefully, as in, actually, if it's just that, then I, I can live that. We can just get the devour and clear the paths again. But yeah, these trees we need cut down again. See, those trees, yeah, like all these trees here, we did cut down. As we was going to make a little. Dr not a driveway, but a little path and that to go to here. Path that goes to the road, just to sort of open our way of transport and stuff. And also, again, with placements near Field 19, was all about greenhouses and all that. So, yeah, a few bits we need to do, of course, off camera and that, perhaps. Since we don't need the combine anymore. What did I release then? That's got 0, 0.0 hours. Ah, uh, wait a minute. It's got the normal header. Well, we did talk about potentially getting field 6, but well, that's sunflower. Unless we, yeah. Could no longer get one big. What she needs. What's been harvested, what needs. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. I think something along those lines of you were going to get fields six and then obviously demolish these trees and that, but yeah, that's the, that's the problem of having massive gaps in between recordings is you sort of lose track of everything that's gone on. Yeah, the header's new, so unless we were going to plan to do something with the canoe on that. How much are the fields? Yeah, 800 grand. Yes, we could have bought that again. But yeah, we're precision farmers all. So it's 100%, 103%, 107%. be this combine, yeah, perhaps we were also going to buy field 19 and harvest that field when it's ready. Perhaps that's it. Yeah, we'll keep. Yeah, heck yeah, we'll keep the combine for now. You know what, we'll buy field 19, we'll buy field 6, just to expand the farm a bit in that. And um, we need to get these wood chips unloaded here. So yeah, a lot of work that needs to do in. I think this is, well, it's, this episode here is going to be, it's just pretty much just catch up from where we left off last time. And the theory, as that empties... So if we open the menu here. 
So we turn the pipe out, even though there's technically no pipe. So yeah, it goes from there, instantly into church. So yeah, not really realistic, especially where it goes from one one end to the other. So yeah, I know it's technically cheating, but that will be rectified. So yeah, I think for now. Actually, with all of us waffling on, the worker's actually figured out his way back. I think. Actually, it has. It hasn't got itself stuck by the bridge, so... Fair play to the eye worker. Okay. Yeah, no, we just think we should be doing this for someone else's field, but... I said, I didn't think there was an AI treatment with patch... The latest patch in... With Farm Sim 22 with the Capote DLC being released a couple of weeks ago, but... You know what? I am not complaining. Not complaining in the slightest. And you know what? We'll cut through down here. <laughs> but yeah, we need to buy some TMR, so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll go to pallets. And where's my cheap TMR pallets to? There we go. Ten, twenty. Yeah, you know what? That will be enough, I think, for now. What with it? Yeah, I think we'll just put forty thousand years in, and then we'll simply just go from there and see whether it's enough or not. I'm not too sure. So here we are at the shop. I'm just gonna hop into the Tayanzer. And we're just going to manually load into the TMR ourselves. The good thing about having shop equipment is just that it's so handy. Just put some straps around. I think we'll do just two pads at a time. Yeah, I think you could lift more than that, but it's just because of the boom, yeah, booming sec extension in that. Yeah, see, so just had the weight transfers and shifts. So that's just going to empty itself. And this shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Decided to go and just fully load this up, 70,000 years, and not just see how much the cows need because I've totally forgot how much they need. So, here we go. So, over the bridge, just not going to crash into the water, please. Oh, and we don't, but we have a bit of overseer. But yeah, those trees will need to be devoured. I did devour a few trees on the little pathway in, as you may have noticed. So I'm just going to feed the cows to TMR and see how much of this they need. Not all of it, so that's good to know. I'll go over our field, we need to... Well, from field 1 here, this needs to be... mulched. But we'll do that in the next episode or two. Keeping times at 0.5 for now. Just so we can catch things up, because I want to get this done today. And yeah, so we'll get all the poplars and all that done today. Why is there a tree falling over here? Any ideas why? Yeah, no idea. Monks may have things we need to have a look at, so. 
Is it this silo here we can put stuff in? No, it's the other one here. This one is Schultz's underground silo. Well, we put it in the last episode or two, I think. We'll just shove you out of the way. Or not. Okay, fine. No, 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 trees. Move him. No, no. Ah. So the trans near rolled into the drink and we smashing up our trays. This is very realistic. <laughs> smashing our equipment. Nothing to see here. Let's get the forge wagon pushed and what? So let's shove you there for now. I'm going to do a bit more trailer bashing. Oop. Nope, nope. I did not go well. <laughs> that went pretty much the opposite of what I wanted. Why do I have to be an awkward soap here? Who went and designed the silo? Who put the silo in? Actually, that may be me, so... Yeah, let's not talk about that. Can we at least get us hooked up again, please? Hey, there we go. Uh, so let's not dr dr <laughs> drown the engine. Ah, uh, so you can know, tell it's been the boss in the play farm so just... Ooh, yep, yeah, uh, handling that, especially with the Trans-70. Of its realistic weight configuration of how it's been modded and designed, of course. I know there's trailers like the A2 Studio trader that can have the unrisen capacity and then doing the XML code and all that. The weight is set to fall, so basically it is weightless, essentially speaking, but... So yeah, we'll put this over here. Turn you off, and... We'll bring you over here. And I'm pretty sure I... Ah, yes, he had the dolly subs here, so... What we need to do is detach the rear part of this trailer and get it all hooked up. So hopefully I'll do it correctly first time around. So we need to, yep, unhook you. And if I recall, I did have. Some issues with the forage harvesting of this, just because of having issues in the grounds of traction. I think it was going uphill we had traction issues. Again, if I recall. So here we go. Yeah, you can see the front wheels are spinning a bit, so... That's something I've got to keep an eye on in that. Actually, I don't think I shoot this off in that episode. I think I did this off camera, perhaps. Not sure why if I did, but... I think see going downhill, not an issue. And obviously what we'll do with this afterwards, oh, I absolutely have no idea. Again, half tempted if we get enough money in just to buy all this and... I think, yeah, let's not buy field 6. We could just buy the other little fields around, get rid of the trees, get rid of all the bushes and that, and just create another little big field. Yes, yeah, so I know it's not the flat is, it's on a bit of a slope, so... Perhaps with equipment that, it's going to be pushing it a bit, but... You know what, I think I'm willing to take that, I think. So yeah, this is going to be a nice big area. Forget the grass field, get 37. And we get the trees, get the BGA. Obviously, we did talk about buying the BGA, but I think in hindsight, it's not going to be economically viable, at least for the series now. So I think what episode we're on now, actually, I have no idea what episode we're on. Maybe in the high teens, I think. Into the 20s, perhaps, but... In terms of the, like, the longevity of this series, I'm still enjoying the series. <laughs> it's still going on. 
got plenty of work to do. I do have another Let's Play series set up. Comes in, I'm going to try to get that. Get a couple of more episodes recorded in the next week and that. Or, yeah, within this next week or two. Get that finished off. And then start a new series on Spruce Mountain. I'm hoping to have the first episode of Spruce Mountain up sometime this week. This episode will come out tomorrow on Tuesday. Got No Man's Land episode 29 already recorded. Just need to edit it and render it. So that will be up Wednesday. And then we'll do Alice Chauvin again or for Thursday. And maybe for Friday or... Yeah, I think Saturday or Sunday we'll do the new Let's Play series. And then Comson could be... Yeah, getting over the weekend as well. But of course, it all depends on work schedule and that. And just general how things progress and how with work and that. And how much energy I've got and how busy I am in my real life and that. I have gone and rejoined a bike club, so a motorcycle club, so I've got that on. I was commitments to that. Doing the whole motorcycle scene stuff for those who are part of it you may know what it involves if you don't know yeah don't know but yeah just a lot of stuff going on in personal life so I will try to have at least episodes up in that every other day if I can get day episodes uploaded even if it's just short episodes then you know what that's fine I think as well, I just wouldn't try to stick to episodes wise, it's just keeping it all sort of nice and compacted. Just in terms of what we're doing in that, and I think I'm messing this up here a little bit. Could just about get all of it in. But yeah, see, we are having some traction issues, as well as alignment, so. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with one row of. Poplars just for each fun pass. We got three more to do, so this shouldn't take too long. But yeah, so we'll do one more little time lapse here, get us all done, and then I'll see you folks at the sawmill. What's we done here with all this poplar picking? <laughs> Wood chips here loaded up, 94,000 litres. There we go. And since then, we've had some more furniture popping up, so we'll remove the pellets to the side. We'll let this get fully loaded. And then we'll go and sell the planks, sell the pellets. Also, we've got to take the planks to Dan Handel. Then we'll have to grab the pellets. I sure do. So let's go and remove these off a sec. We'll come back for these at a later date. So let's go and let's go and stack them neatly here for now. So you'll go there. 
Actually, we're going to have tons of pets by this time tomorrow. Or even when we skip overnight, we're going to have tons and tons of pets. So, overall, I'm not too worried about how things are. So, let's go plunk you there. And we'll plunk you there. Oops. Let's grab you. Let's actually see how much furniture we've got. So that says 8,000 liters. Is it actually 8,000 liters? I'm not. So let's go and reverse this up. Well, it is at 8,000. It must be 500 liter pallets. Or 500 liters per box. So. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, it's got to be more than that, surely, but... Anyway, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, what else do we need to do today? Actually, we've got so much equipment leased out, we could look at, return some of these. Nothing really interested in the used market. There is a sugar cane harvester, but it's only 44% off, so... Is that the, like, the lower end of the deal, so... But things like the forestry trailer, well, forestry machine, that will keep that for another day. Trailer will keep, the baiter will... Actually, no, baiter, should we return that? I think we're going to do soybeans, cotton, sugar beet. No, I actually don't need to have it, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we actually need it at all. Well, we could do the beta for the grass and that, but I'm thinking more of a round beta for the grass. Then also, we can have a round beta get massive big 11,000 liter bells, or I think it's... Was it hay or straw we can get 11,000 liters, but get the biggest bells we can. Because also I want to do hay in that, and get some of that mixed up in that. Only because we want to get some cows, not cows, we already got cows for some sheep in that soon, they take hay in that. So yeah, I think we'll leave it at that, and I think, you know what, we'll just skip ahead till the next day. So, there we go. Skip ahead till 8 o'clock in the morning. Bit of rain. <coughs> and how bad is our money? So it's gone down by 25, 27 grand, so it's gone down a little bit. But overall, I'm not too worried about that. Anything in the used market? Oh, there is a bell to looter. Oh, that we can do with. There's only a small one, 13,000 litres though. But the bell loader we can do with. That would be very, very nice. So half we're going to do. Oh, that thing just pop. Yeah, it says collect. Wait, ah, that's the pop. I thought there was a... It could have done both, but I'm guessing not. Wait, let's go to tools. Let's go to sugar cane. Okay, um, let me go and... Um, under the mod sex, so it's collect. Ah, so yeah, separate one. So again, that'd be good to have. But are we going to do poplars and that? Sugar cane? Then yes, we will. But let's summarize a little bit more here. Also, do we get any hourly income? So I, f I think we do from a cellular tower or something. No, nope, we do not. That's also what we could do, we put some of the serial panels in, get some income in perhaps. Yeah, nothing else has popped up. What about contracts? Any contracts popping up? Nope. What about fields? Oh, look at that, field 6 is ready to harvest. Oh, 
Oof. This entire bit of poplar we forgot to do, so we'll do that. And cotton's ready to harvest as well. So you know what, we're going we're gonna to make the purchases. So overall, the field quality is going to be a bit meh. Yeah. So yeah, up to 120% we'll get. So overall, that ain't too bad. But yeah, I completely forgot about the other popular field, so... Right, it's a bit of a, on my part, a bit of an F there. Or an L. So, go and back this up. Actually, if we go to the trailer, so let's go over here, because I want to see how... Ah, uh, yeah. You know what's going to happen. Lots and lots of pellets here. Uh, this is nothing we've got to deal with as well, is the ridiculous power limit. That will be something I will be discussing in the upcoming video. And actually, I think we've actually hit the... Sh no, we haven't hit the sh power limit quite yet. But then we're going to get close. Come on, spawn some more pallets. There we go. I haven't got a message saying we can't collect any more pallets. Oof. <laughs> that is a ton of pallets. Uh, yeah. Man. Okay, I think this is the last of the pallets, so... Move out of the way. Shove you out of the way. I did say I was going to do this neatly, but that hasn't actually quite come to any fruition as yet. There we go. Now we're getting the furniture now. Also, I think possibly some of it is the trailer itself. There we go. So that's just going to load up, so we'll let that load up a sec, and then we'll go ahead and start selling these. So, alright then, we've got a second trailer here, we've got to load up with all sorts of stuff. We finally hit the pad limit, so we're going to take this over to the land handle sell point. First of all, sell the bulk of this. And whilst that is going on, we're going to grab our 41,000 years of furniture. Uh, we'll quickly take this over to Lan Hendel as well. Uh, so all this there, and then we'll go to the shops to sell everything container. And then we'll sell whatever's left there, which I think is just the pellets. And everything else can be sold at Lan Hendel. Pretty sure that's the case. So, workers going down the south route, we're going north route. We trust he gets there first of all, of course, we've got to be following the speed limits and all that, so... Actually, do AI worker follow the speed limits of the road? Not too sure, actually. Well, I still think we'll get there first of all anyway, because he got that massive hill to navigate. And I'm not sure if I put the bigger engine in it, or if it even does come with a bigger engine. Oops. Frame drop has... Occurred only slightly, but that's been we're at the pad limit. But before we, yeah, before we even had the pad limit in place in FS22 in a few patches ago, just get the speed down a little bit there. Oh, yeah, I have had no issues on Compton. We have pads spawning from multiple production buildings. Perhaps it's just the map. Perhaps not handling the pad limit, but then again, yes, we talk trees down. There are a few bits around, a couple of stumps and that, but still shouldn't be causing this amount of FPS drop. I think at times it's very notable. It's not really notable here because we've only got, well, technically two pallets. Obviously, we've got the auto load function, and then we chucked in 
a thousand acre pallet on top of it, hence why we've got 41,000 euros, even though the stream's got a 40,000 acre capacity, but the point is regardless. I think this is going to be a feature in a upcoming video. Video I was meant to do months about, yeah, before I went away, or I was going to do it when I was away and that, and... And yeah, it was a section called Honest Opinions About Farms in 22, and... I did get some nice feedback on that, like people... Throughout, yeah, just having different opinions. Some of them do occur. Including some about mods, but then again with mods that is a... It's not as simple as some people may think. Mods are tested, like, I know I've spoken to Shops a few times, and a few other mods, just in general conversation, and, yeah, only if it was that so simple to get mods tested and through first time. But, yeah, it's, it's what it is, so we're here <laughs> at the end of the day, so let's go and sell these pallets. I think it's a bit stutter because I think the worker's stuck. And that does cause all sorts of issues to occur. So I'll just go pull that there. Might just go shoot up. Oh no, it's all stuck. Now, I think we might just got hit a bit of traffic perhaps, but. So yeah, let's go see how much money we can make here. We'll do a little cheeky cut through. Ignore that little egg crate there peeping through. Just ignore it. Just imagine it's not there. See? It's not there. <laughs> oh, anyway, so let's go see how much money we can make here. It's going to be a bit of a lag fest. I think, I think I swear we didn't have these issues before, but... Yeah, whether it's the map or it's the game now with the pad limit in place, that meant... As soon as you hit the pad limit, you get lag in that, but I have bells, I have tons of pallets. I think that it comes to, like, I've said many times, like, over a hundred pallets at one point. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't make sense in that. I know I've even gone about this in previous videos, so... I'm going to sort of stop on that, and let's just see how much money we can make here. That's 6,000 litres of furniture. Actually, I actually think we could afford the sunflower field, actually. <laughs> so we got 177 grand. Ooh, if our man's score has gone down. Ah, that's because... We've gone and bought these. Dang it, should have done this first of all. There we go, close enough. <laughs> there we go. I think it all needs to be mulched, rolled, planted, and all sorts of whatnot, so... I was going to see how this goes here. I know the pellets won't sell here, I don't think. Oh, no, this... Oh, took it to the wrong place. This, this is sell everything container. That's the pallet. Ah, rats. Yeah, we lost quite a bit of money potential. I was thinking why the money was a bit lower than... Ah, uh, that, that really annoys me, that does. Stupid mistake on my part. Could have made so much more money there from the pallets. Yeah, it is what it is. There we go, just a couple more pallets over here and there. Thousand years ago. Yes, a new pet's ain't accepted here.
Ah, you know what? That's a bit of furniture, you know what? We'll just set up to pet it. But yeah, so we're at 705 grand now. So now let's go and sell these pellets. And why aren't they selling? They should be selling. Oh, don't say I'm going to have this issue again with the pellets. I think it's just because of the trailer itself, I think. It's too high above the ground, or the fact that the sell point is below ground. You know what? I was going to sell this quickly, and I'll bring folks back once we're done here. There we go, so that is 55 grand. Plus a little bit more. I said a little bit more. There we go. Just trying to you across. And boom, 770 grand we're on now, so we can buy. Oh, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. So we'll go ahead, ahead and buy you. We'll disconnect the header, we'll go and get a nice corn header. Biggest one we can get, 12 meters. Yep. Lease that for 6 grand. Uh, so yeah, after a bit of a hectic episode, a very hectic episode, perhaps no me this has gone a lot longer than it should have done, but hopefully the episodes should be around the half an hour mark in the future now at least, or at least that's going to be the plan, or not we'll stick to it, of course very drastically. But yeah, so we've got multiple new fields now, we've got some new sections, we will do the rest of the wood chips, off camera between now and next episode. Next episode we'll continue on with the sunflower harvest here, and we're just about to start. And yeah, I got really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button as always, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us in, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But first choose to do, hope you're in the house day. But for now, just be far more of an extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.